You really gonna go through with this? I'm gonna find, and I'm gonna kill every last one of them. Hey, today I have a special video for you guys. It is all about The Last of Us Part Two. Now, um, as you know, I am a huge Naughty Dog fan. That is no surprise to anyone who has seen anything on my channel. And I am a huge fan of the Uncharted series. I did a whole 50 Days of Drake, like in prep of, you know, Uncharted 4. It was just the one year anniversary. But my all time favorite game of any game developer is The Last of Us. I have played that game hundreds of times. I love that game. I am obsessed with that game. And um, it has been my most anticipated announcement. You know, it has been my most anticipated game that they would make a sequel to. So when I came across the Easter egg in Uncharted 4 for The Last of Us, I pretty much lost my mind. I was so excited. So, I mean, if you haven't seen my Let's Play of the epilogue chapter of Uncharted 4, I did a whole Let's Play of that whole game. But when I was in, you know, no, you know, spoilers, spoiler alert for Uncharted 4, when we are in Cassie's room and we see the American Daughters, uh, you know, dark uh, horse comics of a woman with the gas mask on with like long reddish hair. Um, I was immediately, you know, I thought maybe it's too good to be true. This is too much of a gimme that they are telling us that they are making a sequel for The Last of Us. And will it include our Ellie and Joel? So you can clearly see that the woman is pregnant and she's wearing the gas mask to protect her from spores. Um, and we're going to talk about all of that. So the title in the Easter egg is American Daughters. You know, is this the story of Ellie and Riley? Are we going to see how they met and do they grow up together? Um, I'm thinking no, but it's just a cool little, you know, segue that they give us, you know, I guess maybe to throw us off the track of what the game actually was going to be before we knew about the, um, before we saw the reveal trailer at PSX, which I was actually at, um, and I will show some footage of me live reacting to that news because I lost my damn mind. Pregnant woman in the American Daughters poster. What about the baby? This is the core of my obsession. <laughs> what about the baby? Um, and who is the woman in the picture? Is it Ellie? Is it Ellie's mother, Anna, uh, who we learn about when Joel and when Joel and Ellie first meet? You know, she, you know randomly you know just talks about her parents are no longer around and also in the left behind dlc um we hear about anna in um riley's conversation with ellie when they're playing you know the brick master so in the left behind dlc we learn that ellie's mom was a nurse and she was good friends with marlene is this going to have any bearing on the story we also find the note that ellie's mom uh anna leaves for ellie in the winter chapter if you open up ellie's backpack the uh, letter from her mom is in there. So will we learn Ellie's mom's backstory, Anna's backstory? Will will we find out how she came to be and how she dies? Was she killed by human or infected? It would have to have been very close to Ellie's birth because in the letter, Anna states that she's only a day old, that Ellie is only a day old when she's writing this letter and her life is going to be, you know, ripped from her. Uh, way too soon. So it had to happen. I mean, like maybe, maybe she was dying in childbirth. I don't know. Maybe she lost too much blood. We don't know the story, but I'm hoping all these questions will be answered. And the reason why I think these questions will be answered in The Last of Us Part Two is because Neil Druckmann had tweeted a picture of the on the set on the mocap set of the last of us 2 so on april 14th neil druckman tweeted a picture and it says not gonna lie my co-writer gross tastic scares me and she's and she's sitting on a horse holding you know the mocap shotgun and if you look very closely right underneath peeking out behind the bottom of the horse is a baby doll now i am not the first person to notice this there are a lot of the last of us part two preppers and theorists that have seen this and have been talking about it but I know I have a lot of The Last of Us fans on this channel and I wasn't sure if you guys knew about it so you know me I am going to you know give you all the information I have on this game so I wanted to share it with you guys but I'm not the first person to see this it's it's been going around if you have your ear to the ground you have seen this and you have heard about this so there's a lot of theories obviously we are all going crazy wondering and thinking about what this game is going to be about and what is going to motivate our beloved characters so this is my theory Shannon Woodward from Westworld um, is in the game 
Uh, I have a feeling she's going to be playing Ellie's mom and that we're going to learn about how she met Marlene and how they became friends. And we're going to see her pregnant and possibly getting infected and also giving birth to Ellie. And is that why Ellie is immune? Was she perhaps bit while she was pregnant with her? And it built up some sort of immunity. In her letter to Ellie, you know, Ellie is just a baby. You know, she died very shortly after that. So since Ellie is only a day old when she writes the letter and Anna already knows she's going to die, this brings up so many, it could be so many things. And I can't wait to see how they're going to fit this storyline into the game. So could it be possible that Anna was hurt by humans and the people that Ellie is going to go after and kill be and seeking revenge on, could it be the people who hurt her mother and killed, you know, in essence, killed her mother? Was her mom killed by enemies, another faction? What Was she killed by infected? Either way, I hope we find out how she dies, uh, what led up to her death, um, because Ellie is only a day old, so it happens very suddenly, and she writes her the introduction and a farewell letter all at once, and could the opening heartbreaking scene be like the original heartbreaking original, you know, opening scene with Sarah where we lose Sarah at the beginning and we see Joel lose Sarah and how heartbreaking that was. Will we see Ellie losing her mom? Is that going to be the opening scene where they, you know, they kill us with, you know, the feels? And, Let yeah. us see Ellie's mom, Anna, dying. Ellie's only a day old. Will we see Ellie losing her mom? Will we see Anna's origin story and her end? all at once in the opening scene. Are they going to hit us with the feels right away like they did with Sarah? That is what I'm going with. I think that could be the only logical conclusion because I don't think they're going to kill Joel. I don't believe that. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, this is me just theorizing, but I don't believe that they're going to kill Joel off. Joel is too much of an important character to the story. It is about the two of them at the core. Neil Druckmann has said this a million times. The story is about the two of them. That's the grounding theme to their story to this whole universe is Joel and Ellie what do you guys think do you think this is you know a red herring that they're going to send us on are they going to try and just throw us off because they don't do anything without thinking about it they are very they know we're going to zabruder every picture and every video and everything we can get our hands on just to see what is going on because they know people are ravenous for information for this game that we love this game so much and we want to know everything. Now, I am going to go out on a limb here and I know I'm going to get red to filth for this theory, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> I I know this is not a popular theory. This is probably own, my own crazy theory in my mind, but I'm going to share it with you guys because you never know. I might be right. <laughs> Crazier things have happened. Like this lighting fucking working. What? Now, I know this is not a popular belief considering Ellie is gay which is canon stated directly by Neil Druckmann. So I don't want to hear anybody saying that she's not gay. Ellie is gay, stated by Neil Druckmann many times. That is canon. So I don't want to hear nothing from nobody. Okay, so, um, but there is still a very small possibility that Ellie could be pregnant. I don't know why. And it has, and it has nothing to do with the American Daughters poster because I don't think that's Ellie in the poster at all. I, I do believe that is Ellie's mom, Anna. I'll show you my, re my live reaction video for at PSX when they did the reveal trailer for it. My first gut instinct from my gut was like, is she pregnant? Um, and that was my first instinct because she's sitting down. She has the, the guitar in front of her. You can't see her stomach. So she does have the ability to get pregnant. Maybe she is doing it to try and further the immunity of, I, I don't know, but I mean, she is a woman. She is physically capable of becoming pregnant. And I'm hoping it is not against her will that I don't think they would do that. I really don't think they would put that story in there like that. But the only reason why I mention it is because if I don't mention it, I will kick myself in the butt if it happens to be true. And I, and I thought it never said anything, you know, she is sitting down with the guitar in front of her. It's, you can't see it. And I think that everything they do is so purposeful and so well thought out that I don't know. I just, I'm calling, I'm calling bullshit on that. Like I'm just, I'm calling them out. Maybe they are just being a little shady by doing that. Also, Neil Druckmann is famous for leading us astray when it comes to details about the games. You know, when they were marketing The Last of Us and doing all these interviews and everything, Neil Druckmann, he swore that we would not be playing as Ellie at all. It was just Joel, 
Joel all the way. And then afterward, he's like, sorry, my bad. Sorry I had to lie to you guys. Maybe he's just trying to throw us off. I could see him trying to do something so outrageous like Ellie's pregnancy and making it work within the story only because we would never expect it. And he might just be crazy enough to pull that shit off. If anyone could do it, it would be him. So that's my crazy ass theory. Please don't read me to filth. This is just me, you know, spitballing ideas because nobody knows. And this is the fun part. We get to just imagine what it could be, but probably not. I would guarantee that it is not that Ellie is not pregnant, but something in my gut told me, is she pregnant? Now, I wanted to do this video before any E3 announcements have been made. In case there's any info coming out, uh, I'm not sure they have any news about it. I don't even think they're going to have a teaser trailer. I'm not sure. I ho I'm hoping we have a little taste, maybe 30 seconds. I mean, like something to give us a little hope to hang on to that we know it's coming. But I definitely don't think they will be giving us a release date at all, not even close for The Last of Us Part Two, We probably won't get a release date window up until about six months beforehand. I can't imagine them even getting caught up in that mess because they have had to push back Uncharted 4 twice um, and they had to push back The Last of Us twice. And Neil Druckmann even said it at the panel I was sitting in at PSX. He even said, I am not, we have been burned one too many times before, so I we are never going to see a release date at this E3 at this time. I'm predicting spring 2019, but um, I'm predicting that's when the release of the game will be. Um, but I really hope it's sooner than that because they have been working on this for years. I don't want I don't want to hear nothing. Um, the game came out in June of 2013, so I'm thinking like right after Left Behind, a you know, came out the DLC. I'm thinking that maybe they started working on ideas and they started working on it. So I think it's been in the process for at least two years, at least. So guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what your theories are, what you want to be in The Last of Us Part Two. What do you hope to see? What do you think they're going to do? What are your conspiracy theories? Please leave me a comment and let me know. I will keep you guys posted on every and all Naughty Dog news going on. I also will be doing... Um, a lot of live reaction videos for E3, uh, PlayStation night. Like I said, nothing against Xbox or anybody. I, I just have a PlayStation and that's what I'm going to be tuned into. Hopefully at E3, we'll be seeing some days gone. Hopefully another trailer because it's been one year since we have heard anything from, from Ben's studio. So I am so excited for that. So E3 is so exciting. I can't wait. It's one month away and I will be giving you guys all the info, all the news that I find. I'll be doing reaction videos to everything they announce. Okay, so what are you expecting and hoping to see at E3? What are your thoughts on The Last of Us Part 2? As always, I will keep you guys posted on any and all info regarding Naughty Dog especially and PlayStation news. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe if you like this content and this is for you. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate every comment, every like. So thanks so much for watching and I'll be back with more.